Hello and welcome to How Do I UV That, where I go through subscribers' models and show you how I would UV them. So in this episode, I think this is episode uh, three, I'm going to show you how to UV a character this time. So I got this character from a subscriber and this person wants me to show how I would UV it. So let's go ahead and do that. So first things I'd like to do is just kind of look at the uh, how the model has been made. So in this case, we have the uh, main body separately from the uh, the pieces, separately from the eye, which is good. Okay, so this this uh, this model is pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and open the UV editor window. And I also have the uh, uh, UV toolkit opened here. So let's go ahead and start. So first things first, let's see, it looks like it does not have any UVs made. The first thing I like to do is do a planar map. So what you do is you go to UV and then just hit on planar. And that's just going to give you a planar map on your whole model. And let's see, I'm just going to move it to the side for now. And what I want to do is, let's see, what's the most difficult part here? Let's do the body. Let me isolate it. And we can decide how we're going to cut this guy so that we can UV it correctly. So one thing that I think is really useful, especially when it comes to characters, it's to look at uh, how similar shapes are cut in real life. So for example, if I look on Google, how a t-shirt for example is uh, made. So it's usually made of pieces and people just sew those together. So basically you could pretty much use the same blueprints uh, when you're making a character, when you UV in it. So it's the same, it's the same concept basically as it is in real life on how people make clothing for example and how they make it out of pieces and just put those together except in 3d you're doing the opposite you're going the other way so you're transforming something from 3d to a 2d image so let's do that first so what i'll do is i'm going to cut this by the neck first so let's cut the neck Go to cut, just cut that. Make sure that you have uh, texture borders on so that it shows you where you're cutting things in the uh, viewport. Here, I'm going to cut here. So I'm going to select now the uh, arms. I'm going to cut those out. Oops, I always mess this up. And let's pretend you have to do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes I like to just uh, do it on one side and then just mirror the model. Okay. Let's uh, cut the pants. I guess this is where the pants will go. So I think it's this one. Let's cut it there. So let's do now the, uh, I guess, pretend this guy is wearing a shirt and let's see how we will cut that so I will cut it from the side like this and you can either cut it here on the shoulder or cut it through the side as well so let's see let's do the shoulder and a lot of times you want to have your seams in areas that are not going to be uh, visible. And it all depends on the size of your textures as well. So, okay, so now we have that. So we can go here. Let's go to UV shell. So this is a separate piece. What I'll do is go to UVs and I'm going to use the unfold tool. So right here, hit the unfold, and then just wait for it. And this is our first attempt. 
So let's see how our distortion is looking. There's a little bit of stretching on this side of the shoulder. But it's not too bad. I would probably do another cut on the other side and break it into two pieces. So if I go here, then break the shoulder up here. And now let's do the unfold. So now we have two pieces. And I don't think we should have much distortion now. Obviously you have to decide what you want to have a little bit of tiny bit of distortion or if you want to have a seam. And obviously the seam may be visible depending on the size of your texture. If your texture is super small, it's going to make the seam even more noticeable. If your texture is like really high res, then you for the most part don't have to worry too much about that. But I think that gives us a good result. And I, I usually like to just test... Um, what the model looks like if I merge it here for example if I do this do move and sew edges and now I do the unfold I always like to just test and see what I get so in this case now I don't have a seam at the top and I think the UVs are still good not not bad so I would probably leave it this way for the, for the torso area. Okay, so let's see what's... I got like 7 minutes left. So let's do the head. Let's go ahead and do that. So I would probably... First, I'm going to cut the inside of the mouth so that this doesn't get in the way. Probably here. Let's cut that there. And then I would going to cut this in half. But I'm doing that just for now, I'm not going to keep it this way. And there's a reason for that, so let's cut that. Okay, so now I'm going to select the face and do the unfold. And this is what I get. Well, let me increase the size here. Okay, so stretching wise it looks pretty good uh, not much distortion going so that's a good thing now i personally don't like to have a seam in the middle of the face uh, it depends on your character if you wanted your character to be symmetrical then sure there's no there's no issue having a seam there but i think i, I don't want to have a seam there and the reason why i cut this why i cut it into two pieces first was because sometimes the unfold tool works works better uh, when you have more pieces and then when you sew those back together and do another unfold it usually does a better job at least that's my experience I may be wrong on that but that's how I that's what I've seen so I'm going to sew that there probably up to the forehead now I'm going to do an unfold Okay, so now we get this. He is really surprised. He's giving us the uh, face. 
So, let's see. So now I do get more stretching, which is not good really, but but if you don't want to have the seam there, it's also better not to have it there. Um, So in cases like these, you kind of have to decide whether you want to keep it into two pieces to prevent stretching or doing it this way. I think in my case, I might might cut this one. Because I just feel that there's, there's just too much stretching going from here to everything else. Let's, let's do that. So now, it's better here. But we do get a bit more stretching on this side. Personally, I think I would rather have that than, than have it in this side. But if I was super, super worried about stretching, I would probably just keep it into two pieces. So it, it really depends, honestly. But I think, I think this should work fine. That's what I would do for the head. Let's see, I think I have three more minutes here. See, let's do the hands probably. Might take a little longer than two minutes. Let's try to do the hands. So let's cut that probably here. And I guess for the hands, I would use the same example of uh, how a t-shirt is put together. In the case of hands, uh, think of how gloves are put together. So I just cut them in like this. I think that should give us something that should work. And I usually always, I always use the unfold tool when I'm working with uh, organic shapes like characters or just anything that's organic and it's not like hard surface. The unfold tool always gives you some pretty good results for that, for that kind of model. So yeah, this looks pretty good for hands. Always check your distortion. It's great. Yeah, looks good. And sometimes I like to merge here and just have it as one piece. Do another one fold to fix any minor distortion. And there we have it. And I always like to have the, uh, the shapes as straight as possible. So there we go. So this is how what I would start doing a character UV and all the other pieces you can probably figure out how I would do it. Uh, I would use the same techniques, uh, make some cuts, unfold, make sure there's no distortion and that's how I will continue to make the whole thing. So yeah, that's how I would UV a character. Uh, so. Uh, remember, if you have a model that you want to see me UV map, uh, make sure you check the description for details on how to do that. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.